by gamers both young and old. Since we've tried the American version of Star Wars The New Hope, the Japanese of course will want to let's say show off to show that they can do a better game. So let's give it a feel. So far everything's going well, despite of the, all the rumors I've heard. The BGM here is better. Yeah, the background music here is better. It's more Star Warish in the and the American Express version. You gotta admit that. And the title movie is still the same. No difference. But I do need to admit the words here are much more clearer. I mean, it's the same thing, so don't expect any new stuff. I heard there's a lot of changes over here, and there are so many rumors that actually freak me out. Hopefully, everything will be fine. But that's a curse every time I say something like that, things actually do not turn out well. Anyway, let's see what the Japanese have for us. I heard they're good at animation, making it to be better over there. I think usually they'll do better in animation, and. Hmm, the feeling here does have the. Wow! I mean, the recreation of Tatooine scene is far better than the. American European version. This fight is kind of intense, and. Yeah! Oh! Oh man, I mean that's over and here we go. Alright. Ooh. Wow, this is the recreation of the whole scene and it actually follows the movie a lot. That's nice. No problem with that. Thankfully at here I got the translated version so you guys don't have any problems with the words over there. So we'll start and what? Oh, the Jawas came here to kidnap my Ultra D2. That's kinda stupid and okay. I got a lightsaber at the beginning, that is partly acceptable. And I'm hacking Jawas as if I was and you can hacking sand people. Uh, I think it all comes from same people. Uh, is there a desert ego? I don't expect Okay now my any escape. Shouldn't be complaining too much. And the BGM is still fine. I should be less. I think I should stop mentioning how good the BGM is. And yeah, it does go further back and I need to admit the movement here is a bit clunky and I don't get it why Luke has black hair, he should be a blonde. And what the hell? Is there a stormtrooper guarding the sand crawler? I thought the stormtroopers and the sand people didn't get along. Never mind, just ignore him. And whoa, there's a turret over there and the sand people over here. Now as usual, you know you have to let's say be careful and don't hit anything because as usual a touch will kill you, it's the same thing over here. And eventually does this does reminds me of Lockman a lot and what? A, a Scorpiano Vader? I, I don't get it. I run into Vader in such an early stage. Alright, never mind. I'll just hack him with a sword and what what the fuck? What what is that? Uh, is that a is that a scorpion? It, this doesn't make sense man. Uh, thankfully he's dead in such a few chops and Alright, here I'm back and I've rescued R2D2. And that's the end of it. Hopefully, I think I can predict where we are going. We'll be doing a lot of strange things over here and wow. I have no idea my land speeder can actually kill people by running into them. That's fine. Why not? Okay. Wow, the moist icy seems over that fast. And now I'm in Millennium Falcon. Oh, we are doing this again. Seriously? Oh, Obi Wan is with me all this time. I didn't know that. Never mind. Based on what I know, based on what I can see, we will be flying the Falcon. Hopefully, we do not run into anything. So far, there's nothing for me to run into. Maybe there's a loading screen for me to. Oh, we have reached the outer rims of. What the hell is this? Oh, not bad, not bad. At least in the asteroids, in the asteroid scenes in the previous game, doesn't allow me to fight back. Here, yes, I'm taking on Thai fighters, and is that Thai advance? Oh, what the hell! At least I can fight back with lasers. Not bad, not bad. So far, enjoying the game, although the flying mechanic is kind of clunky, and I do enjoy seeing Thai fighters swing barrels through here. Oh, I swear to God, that was a Thai advance. Hopefully, I do not run into too many of them. And eventually, I've gone to the place which I can rest speed and jump out of the system. Okay, the mountainous planet of Castle. Okay, why am I in Castle? I don't remember Castle in the movie. I don't know Castle in the book. Oh, never mind. I think they are trying to let's say increase the gameplay by adding in more stuff. Now, unlike the let's say teleportation or let's say the floating device provided in the 
American version. This one actually gives us rope for us to climb, although we do have a lot of things to cut to to go through and get stuck. Now, jumping high is one of those abilities which is called force jump that allows you to fly very high. Actually, there's something called force push which actually lets like, you push things away. Oh, I'm using a pistol here. Now, if you just let. I'll just be frank with you guys. If I was in the Star Wars universe, the last thing I want to do is to be a Jedi. After holding a laser gun and a blaster, a blaster wins every day. Even Han Solo has mentioned it. Never bring a gun to the knife fight. Oh, I. Was that Indiana Jones? Never mind, they were the same actors. I don't even care anymore. And what the hell am I fighting snakes? Since when do I don't get along with snakes? Since when do the snakes align with the Empire? Speaking of that, since when do eagles align with vampires? This doesn't make sense at all. Never mind, and yes, game, no complaint. We are doing platforming, jumping up and down, up and down, and make sure we don't hit the spikes. Yes, never hit the spikes and never fall through the ground. Oh, finally, we're right with stormtroopers. And they are turning to their projectile scars. No, which I can avoid them easily. And just like here, the frogs are more annoying. Alright, now into the temple and. Whoa. This is kind of dangerous. I have some things I don't get. How come Nintendo really like platformers that allows you to fall to your death? This is not funny and this is not fun. Maybe it was funnier at that time, but as time passes by, this was never a good idea. And now we are doing Rockman again. I need to let's say drop on the platform. Yeah, ground with that. Yeah, you can see there are spikes over there. You need to avoid the spikes. Here is better off for you to take out these turrets here before you go to your next part. Okay, make sure you don't fall and don't hit the spikes and. Dark Vader again? Okay, I am Ryo Vader. Or Ryos. I believe I can just hack you with one knife and you'll show me your true identity. Which I believe is a snake. Oh, what the hell is that? Proud title of the a giant hit flying thingy, giant hit fly? What what the hell is this? Oh my god, I never expect this to be a Star Wars game. Now I need to go back to my previous place again. Do I? Oh good lord. Well, if you want to make me make a complaint here, so far the only complaint I can say is I am not allowed to use other characters, only Luke Skywalker. And uh, I mean, he's a blonde or not, that, that, that doesn't bother me that much. The only thing that really bothers me is why am I fighting things that don't actually exist in the movie? Which is not a big deal after all, a lot of things in NES game do not come from movie. It is not really, let's say, loyal to the movie or let's say the novel itself, which is understandable. If you want to say some games they are not loyal to the original subject and still that's good, and who is this? I mean, that to you for rescuing me. I will be very help to. Okay, don't tell me I need to come cat to castle to rescue Obi Wan Kenobi. That doesn't make sense. Okay, just remember. Grabbing the car is kind of important because it allows you to let's say fly very fast and knock into everyone. The only thing that you should not be knocking into is to projectiles and spiky bits. Eventually if you do hit one of them two times, that will be fine, but eventually you really don't want to do that. I think we'll be doing the speeder scene for a lot of times and we'll be flying in the falcon again into the skies. I think we'll be doing the dogfight scenes again. Oh my god, there's a lot of rinse and repeat here. Man, I'm not going to be my okay, is it cheap you and be held on? Oh my god, I need to go and rescue my members here one by one. What is this? An odd virtue of journey to the west? Oh god, never mind. Okay, we are not in touch with castles and we are not taking down TIE fighters. I have no idea what you break guys bring the four pieces, but right, based on how many bits you have, you shouldn't be breaking any pieces at all. Alright, got hit by your proton torpedoes. Alright, by using guns, you should. And to be fair, the gun shootout actually makes me feel I'm flying an X-Wing. Yeah, I mean, it comes from four corners, which is what the X-Wing does. So, yeah, this very looks. This is very X-Wing thingy over here. And you can see, this is how the proton torpedo hits you. It spins, and then that is counts here as a hit. The less you have over there, the better, because the more it hits you, you'll be more in trouble. So, there are two ways of doing this matter. One is to say move. Uh, to the side to make sure the projectile is out of your sight and you will be fine and the other ones is to take down those TIE fighters as they are throwing projectiles at you. Now you will notice that in this time the ships do not let's say fly away from you they fly uh, towards you. That is what you need to be careful. I have no idea why I'm using a lightsaber and uh, underwater scene. Uh, hopefully I don't see those Monkamara people here. Yeah the salmon people. 
I don't think I will be seeing them because that one will come in Return of the Jedi, which is after the let's say NTSH, and yeah, most probably will be doing Empire Strikes Back. I heard actually it was not as good as the previous game. And whoa, so many eels here. Really does not make sense. Now, just that you know, actually using a lightsaber underwater is not a good idea because actually it causes combustion due to the heat of the lightsaber. Yeah, if you see Gundam movies or let's say other Japanese sci fi anime that's linked to mecha, lightsabers is definitely a no no underwater, yet we are still using it here. Some may say in Super Robot Wars, that's okay, I don't think that's mine. Yeah, Super Robot Wars is actually a fan fiction game. Not a fan fiction game, it's actually a crossover with everyone. And to make the me game mechanic easy, they do do it in that way. But let's say if you're writing a story on movie, you better don't do this. Oh my god, Darth Vader in the water away. Please tell me you will change into a shark. It will be goddamn hilarious if you change into a... When I mentioned that you are gonna change into a shark, I was kidding. I really did not mend it. Oh god, at least he didn't change to someone called Cthulhu from Deep Worms. I'm sorry, Father Father Hydra. No, oh, no, actually, it's uh, Father Dagger, Mother Hydra, I think. Just that, you know, okay. Now, finally, we found 3PO. Which I want to uh, I'll ask, why the hell you are stuck in an underwater level? Oh god, who's I'm gonna rescue next, huh? First out to D2, then Obi Wan Kenobi, then 3 pc 3 po Who's next? Damn it, who's next? Who's next? Oh, finally. This is the uh, Okay, finally, it makes sense here. This is an only rescue which I have to rescue after all. Leia was actually captured in the original story. So rescuing her is definitely quite something you need to do. But before rescuing her, we still need to fight TIE Fighters again. Oh, thankfully we don't have to do that. Oh, we still have to fight TIE Fighters. Oh, we are going to land on this plane and this TIE Fighter is coming. I thought we were actually smuggle ourselves on the, on the base. Oh, guys, this is never a good idea. You know that if we are going to force our way into it, the moment we park our ship, we will be facing lots of stormtroopers. And I think that's what you want to see, right? Yeah, that, that's what will happen. And thankfully, they are not sending the entire squadrons against us. They're only sending birds one by one, which is easy for me to knock down. And it's good to admit the TIE Fighters kind of suck here. And yeah, they actually reminds me a lot. This actually reminds me a lot of Top Gun. But eventually, the game itself is much more easier to control than Top Gun. And finally, we've made our stealth to the Death Star, and I believe we are flying into the turret. Okay, Death Star. Now, the Death Star is amazing, yeah, man. We are cutting the, let's say, a small robotic, let's say, doggy drawings, I think, as mentioned. And the stormtroopers are just smart enough to duck, although they're not smart enough to run away. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's see how many platforms. Oh my god, spiky platforms and. Those are so damn close. How am I supposed to? Oh, thankfully, let me just move a little bit fast. And what the fuck is that? Is that an orange doctor with an eye? It doesn't make sense. Okay, then. Okay, actually, I can let's say change. Oh, I'm using my force powers now. Now, just let you know, actually, um, based on what I check, by using different characters, you actually triggers different abilities that are being used by Luke Skywalker over here. Just that you know that the different characters are here to help you. Now, once flipping through the papers over here, they did, it is mentioned that in this game, you can let's go directly on without rescuing the characters, but eventually that will not do you much help because eventually you still need rescue characters after it happens after Darth Vader's fight. The only important matter here is you need to know that different characters give you different powers, which is a little bit similar to the American version. And I was glad in that version I could use multiple characters. Here, the ability of not using multiple characters is kind of a worse. And oh my god, please don't be so close. Okay, now I'm also a good because Okay, sorry about that Chinese rant over there. Just that you know, you guys do know they are brothers and sisters, right? Siblings? They shouldn't be married. Yeah, we are talking about incest. Yeah, incest. Which is some people find hot and we find it creepy. Okay, now we are in the sewer level. Yeah, at least we don't have to fight Vader and the walls are getting closer, right? Okay, so over here you need to trigger R2D2 to let's say open the shop so you can escape, right? Yeah, that's the thing. So we have escaped from it. So just that you know, you really need to watch the movie before, let's say, have knowledge about the movie itself. If not, you have no idea what you're doing here. Okay, more stormtroopers, more hacking, more stormtroopers, more hacking. 
All right. Okay, what the hell is this? Never mind, just run past it and get over with it. Hopefully, I'll find a Vader and let's say I want what form he'll change to this time. Really, I'm look really looking forward to what kind of form will change Vader change into. I have no idea of Vader with so many clones. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Wow, the platforming here is painful. No wonder this game was not actually well liked by kids. It's kind of tough with so many platforms over here. Yeah, you can see that. And the spike platforms are doing anything but helping. As for the balls, just remember where to stand and then just stand there and wait for the ball to come so you can hack them. That's how it's done. Okay, another platforming area. Okay, I think I can use this here to fly, right? Never mind, just hack all the blocks and let's say use the blocks to jump through. That, that's it. Okay. Need to cut off the other ball before I can join that platform to be safe. Alright. Yep, there we go. Alright, more stormtroopers and more strange things. Never mind, just got over with it. Ignoring the stormtrooper, I don't have any time for all these guys. Alright, wait, wait, wait. When you're playing NES games, remember there are tough times you need to wait for your turn to move. Don't be, let's say, too aggressive. Okay, now I'm using my special floating for force power to go to the other side. You, you know, why not I just use this pattern to fly over actually if I can. This game is not fun anymore, actually it's kinda of OP. Okay, more stormtroopers. Just ignore him, go to whoa. What is that electric button over there? More moving places and wow, they are even trapdoors, they can crush you. Look, you have done well to come yeah this far, okay? Alright, let's see what will happen to Vader this time. We'll be changing. Oh! This is the real Vader. Huh? This is the real Vader. Okay, use the okay, I'm using Obi-Wan to fight him. No, Obi-Wan is not real fight. I I don't blame him because Obi-Wan died in a sense. So actually calling out Obi-Wan does not really help that much. Okay, keep on using my saber to hack him. Take your time and hack him in the back. Take your time and hack him in the back. Don't get into circle and that was it. Dark Vader stays. The movie's over. No, actually he's just knocked out. And we need to escape into the Millennium Falcon again. Hopefully, we will be able to get off this end. What the hell? Don't tell me we need to rescue Chewie. This is strange. Okay, guys, just that you know, next week we'll be rescuing Chewie, and hopefully, this won't be this odd. Oh god, the dog fight scene again. Yeah, I am really to play Dainty, but you do promise me that you get the graphics for the coming next game, right? Yeah, at least I do get the graphics for the graphics over here. Oh, what the hell. Okay, guys, never mind. We'll see you on the next time. And let me take this and be the best rope squadron pilot in the skies.